This is the Max ESS model, um, 8 kVA, 48 volts, along with the 4.8 kilowatt lithium ion battery. Um, for this setup at the moment, I've got only one battery running on it. Um, however, you can connect up to 10 batteries um, in parallel to this one unit. Um, just to show you quickly how to do the BMS communication, um, two things I'd like to show you at the moment. One, um, you will see that the display of the battery, the parameters of the batteries is on zero. Um, also no flashing indications of BMS communication, hence the reason is currently not connected. Secondly, not the alarm light on the lithium ion battery. So once we have it connected, both will work smoothly. Um, for the cables, we have received the following cables. Um, first thing, this networking cable um, is actually supplied for the parallel connection if you connect more than one inverter uh, in parallel. This is the cable to use. This is not for BMS communication. We received the RJ11 long cable. This is the cable that will run between batteries um, if you use more than one battery. And then obviously your actual BMS cable. Obviously the telltale signs is the BMS communication note. It's labeled one plug inverter and the other plug is marked for the battery. And then lastly, do not forget this or throw it away. This is one of the crucial parts you need, is this RJ11 uh, connection cable. First things first, coming to the side of the inverter. These parts on top here is for your parallel connection if you have more than one bat uh, inverter connected in parallel. In this case, we're not going to use that. Coming down, you'll have your USB port over there, your comms port for your computers, and then the BMS port on the inverter. Look for the cable marked as inverter, INV. This is the plug you need to connect to the BMS port. Coming down to the battery, the top RS485 port is where the comms cable marked as battery needs to be connected to. So, first things first, this dip setting, it's currently set to zero. Zero is your master battery. Whenever you connect these inverters, make sure with the first battery, your master battery is on zero. Now, as mentioned, you can connect up to 10 batteries on parallel on this inverter. Um, hence the reason there is 10 um, links, connections. Um, each and every single battery needs to have its own uh, number. So obviously, number zero is your master. Number one will be your second slave. Uh, number two is your third slave and so forth till you have your nine batteries. Now using this cable, the RJ40, RJ11 long cable, you will connect this in either one of those two ports and then run the other one to the other, cable, other battery and you will keep daisy chaining till you reach the last battery. Um, in this case I'm not going to connect this because we're only running one battery. However, do take note, the fault light is still lighting up as well as the BMS communication still is not communicating. Um, that is because this guy is not connected. You need to connect this to your last battery. If you have one battery, only one master battery will connect it to the master. 
Um, if you have three or four batteries, doesn't matter. Just keep on daisy chaining it using this long cable till you reach the last battery, and your last battery will then get this connection communication cable. Just connect that into your first top port, and then immediately you can see the alarm light has cleared. It's not flashing anymore. Coming up to the inverter. There we start. Detects the 50 volts, 50.2 volts. Note the brackets on the side, your CV voltage, and it will eventually show your charging light or your discharging current as well. The flashing lights also is your indicator that BMS is currently running. Um, you can actually hear the inverter starting up at the moment. BMS communication is successful. It's up and running, ready to go. Thank you very much.